entire day releases list of Buhari's cabal warriors. Former presidential aide Femi Fani Kayode on Monday revealed the identities of those he claimed are President Muhammadu's Buhari's cabal members. He gave the names in an article about Buhari's late chief of staff, Abba Kiari, entitled How the Mighty Fallen. The former minister of aviation was close to Kiari, who decades ago worked for a law firm of his father, Fani Kayode and Somimo, after his return to Nigeria from the United Kingdom. Daily Post reports that since Buhari assumed power in 2015, there have been several reports and references to a certain cabal controlling his government. As of today, the Yoruba World Congress, YWC, insisted that the cliques exist. YWC President Professor Banji Akintoye in a statement claimed that Kiari was one of the controlling most of the affairs of the federal government of Nigeria. He described Kiari as a Nigeria's de facto president before his demise and suggested that he was the one controlling affairs. The Yoruba leader said it was outrageous that Buhari ordered all appointees and government officials go through Kiari on matters that require his attention. We are talking of high public officials such as governors, ministers, and ambassadors. A chief of staff is no more than the head of the president's kitchen cabinet, the president's own personal collection of personal staff that has no superiority to the structural pillars established by the constitution of Nigeria. Abba Kiari's unconstitutional position as the facto president in recent time coupled with an elected president who is periodically nowhere to be found, he seriously denuded the legitimacy of government in our country. In his piece, Fani Kayode hinted that there are powerful people around the president, but that the disease was not their head. Some say he was the leader of the cabal. This is a cabal in which seizing and skillful old war horses ancient northern political veterans and warriors like Mama Daura, Zango Daura, Mahmoud Tuku, Ismaila Issa Fatun, Lawa Daura, Babagana Kingebe, and many others. He added that Kiari was a powerful chief of staff, but he was far from being head of the cabal or being de facto president. Fani Kayode stated, if Kiari was the strongest of them, many of those in office at this time of his death would not have been there anymore because he would have fired them long ago. He added that God alone sees the heart, knows who is who, and will call each and everyone to account for our deeds and misdeeds. It is not for me or anyone else to judge Kiari and it is not for anyone else to judge me or to judge you. Ex-minister posited that for all good deeds, there shall be a reward in the afterlife, and for our bad ones we shall suffer. That applies to all, and as our Bible says, let he that is free of sin throw the first stone. So my people, this is um, really, really an interesting one. So um, Fani Kayode has made a powerful revelation here um, about the cabal in presidency, um, letting us know that there truly exists a cabal. The, um, the Yoruba um, um, Association has told us about um, this existence, that there's truly um, a cabal. Now, uh, people have been thinking that um, probably um, Abba Kiari was the head of the cabal. We know he was one of President Buhari's um, strongest um, allies, but um, Fani Kayode has stated here that Kiari was far from being the head of um, the um, cabal, which means to say that for, for him to be the cabal, it means he has to be the strongest amongst the cabal. So the names he mentioned here, they are, they are really, really a, a strong force um, behind the presidency. 
We remember uh, Mama Dara, the other day he, he made a statement to Aisha Buhari when Aisha Buhari was insisting that she was the one who was going to pick the next chief of staff and anyone that comes her way, we get it hot with her. What did uh, Mama Dara um, reply to Aisha Buhari? He said to her that you need to go to the kitchen, go to the kitchen, go to the other room and perform your duties there and leave us as the cabal to make the decision. You can imagine that the first lady that means this cabal they even their voice is even stronger than the first lady we know aisha buhari she's been trying to bring her voice out there to see how um things can change and it's we remember the other time and uh, she even cried out to say abba kiari uh is a uh, is restricting her from um, um seeing her husband she doesn't have full access and all of that so this cabal does really exist so when we are looking at things we have to look at it in from a different light but this I, I begin to wonder in all of this in all of this where is where is Osibanjo we do have a vice president but it looks like it's just a figurehead that has no voice no wonder uh, it looks like he's just been um, ordered around and when they need him he shows forth if they don't need him he goes to sit wherever he needs to sit and then um, this other revelation and Fanika they made here that is Buhari himself made all the officials and them um, appointees, government appointees, to go through Kiari first. So it, it's really funny because one would think that vice president is next to the president. So if you can't see the president or any matters that you that needs the president's attention, if the president is not available, the vice president will see to it. But this is not the case. It was Kiari that you had to go through for anything any important thing that you needed so what betide you if you are not in good terms with um abakiari also um uh, uh fanika Yode, um stated here as well that um, if abakiari was really the 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 leader of this cabal there are a lot of people that he would have fired from um the, around the presidency there and all of that but uh, looking at this strong cabal, we need to we need to begin to worry as Nigerians because we're not really sure who is leading us, who is ruling us. Because whatever this cabal says, whatever they pass out to um, Buhari, that's what he does. No wonder he looks like a robot president. When it comes to give speech, there's even no connection with the people. You can't see any uh, empathy for the people he's even leading. No connection. He's just standing there, just reading empty scripts. That's what they've given him. There is really no con uh, connection. We remember also that um, it's been alleged that um, Kiari has been a de facto president. Quite correct. Whether elected or elected, because he's been doing everything. He's been a de facto president because uh, we remember in 2017 also, Buhari was away for about five months. He was in the UK for treatment. Who took over? He did no wonder. We, there was no official statement. I believe everyone was waiting to see. Now that Buhari is away, he's going to like hand over to um, Osibanjo to, for Osibanjo to take over things. Now we know that things don't work like that in this presidency, in this our Nigerian government that we see. There are there are there are inner cacos, the cabal that discusses that and handles things. And I, I'm very sure Osibanjo knows that. That's why he just staying on his lane. He's just playing calmly and staying on his land. This shouldn't be. How can our country move forward? And if you check very well, all these cabal, all these people, they are all his family members. They are all his, they are all related to him in one way or the other. So how, how will Nigeria move forward? No wonder they don't even care about us. No, they don't, they don't care about us. Whether people are dying, well, we've been complaining of Boko Haram, the fight, no, the scores of people that have been dying in different parts of the country. No concern to these people. It's just all about their personal gains. It's all about their personal gains. It's really sad. It's really sad. But uh, this is an eye opener to us Nigerians that these persons, uh, they are they are the ones they are, they are, they are the ones that uh, that have been that have been ruling us uh, babagana kingebe we know that um, he hardly comes out we know in a statement that uh, he's a, a a strong voice in the presidency although he's very unofficial because it doesn't really come out but he's the one pressing the buttons he's the one pressing the button when he presses the button then buhari will move 
So, my people, this is uh, this is the news reaching us at the moment. Uh, uh, it's a powerful revelation indeed. I do want us to share our thoughts. Do leave your thoughts. Share your thoughts with us. Let us know what you think as well. Uh, we'll be glad um, to, um, to, to have this conversation going. I want to say thank you once again to everyone that comes out here. Please do give us a like and do give us a thumbs up just to let us know you appreciate what we're doing here. Okay, so till I come your way again, it's bye for now and God.